Welcome to our level four paper weaving video where we're going to make woven paper balls. To make these, you're going to need six strips of paper. And it's easier if you're starting out to have a paper that is all different colors, each strip a different color, I mean. And these strips need to be about 20 times as long as they are wide. So if you're working with nine by 12 construction paper um, and you want them to be 12 inches long, make them a centimeter and a half wide. You can make the strips smaller, but they're harder to work with. You also need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and five paper clips. Okay. So to make the woven balls, you're gonna start with your six strips and stack them one on top of the other. What we're gonna do is cut the tabs that will eventually hold them together in your finished ball. So get them, make sure all your ends are even. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut halfway through the strips going down here on this side and coming up there from the other. Let me see if it can and like that. So. Once you have those cut, spread your strips back out again. And we're gonna number them to help keep track. So in this example, the black one is gonna be number one and put a number one on both ends so you're sure to get it back together. The red is two, orange is three, your teal one is four, green is five, and purple is number six. The numbers don't matter so much if you're making a ball with all different colored strips, but if you're gonna try one that, where they're all the same color, you need some way to be able to keep track of them. So the first step is to take your purple strip, number six, and curve it towards itself, and you're gonna latch the two tabs together. Uh, make sure that your numbers that you wrote and the tabs, the ends, go on the inside of the circle. So it goes together just like that. And then set that aside. So your next step is to lay down your black strip and you're gonna cross your red strip over. This is where you have to start keeping track of your unders and overs. It's gonna be a big theme for these. Then you take your orange strip and you notice that the red is going over the black. So it's gonna go under the orange and that orange will go under the black. So next we're gonna take the teal and put it under the red, over the orange and under the black. And then, then your final strip is your green one, which is gonna go over the orange. I did not do that right, I lied. I got your teal in the wrong spot. It goes over the black. So your green goes over the orange, under the teal, over the black, Come back. And over the red. So before we do anything else, let's check that we've got everything in the right spot. So you should have five points. And if you go across each colored strip, it should go. Oh, I've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. under, over, under, over. Like that, except not like that. <laughs> okay, that's right. 
let's try it again. So five points and with each color. So let's see, we have red going under the green, over the black, under the orange, over the teal. Our green goes over the red, under the black, over the teal, and under the orange. Teal goes, oop, that's wrong again. Over the black, under the green, over the orange, and under the red. Black goes under the teal, over the green, under the red, and over the orange. And, let's see, I've done that one. Orange goes over green, under teal, over red, under black, and then the teal one goes under the red, over the orange, under the green, and over the black. So, as you go around, you should have number two, number five, number three, number one, number four, number two, number five, number three, number one, and number four. So the next step is to push everything towards the center so that this center piece, the uh, pentagon, is as small as you can make it. Like that. Then you're going to take your paper clips and paper clip each point where they cross. So the orange, oop, the red and the green will go together, orange and black will go together. Teal and red goes together. Uh, orange and green. And the teal and the black will go together. The <laughs> Uh, next step is you're going to pick up each of the ends that's on the bottom. So it would be the green right here, the teal, orange, red, whoops, not that green, and the black from over here. And take the purple one we put together earlier and put that over all the pieces. And then if you let go, it looks like this. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna cross the piece that's on the outside of the purple circle in front of the one to its left. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and here is where we start putting them together. So you're going to take your red strip that was number has the number two on it together, and be sure you're getting the tabs and the numbers on the inside of your circle. And the next one is your black, which is going to come over that red circle. And again, the tabs go inside with the numbers. Then you put your orange together and the orange is going to stay over the red, just like that with the tabs going inside, and the orange was your number three um, strip, and my black strip just came undone. So as soon as I get the orange one together, I'll put the black one back. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Black together. 
tabs going on the inside of the circle. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so you have three, well, three together and two left. And at this point, I'm gonna take off the paper clips from earlier that helped hold it together. So you need a little bit more wiggle room. So the next one to piece together is going to be the teal, which is going to go is it the teal i lied it's the green that goes next the green goes oh i've done something wrong right under over my black needs to go under my red i think like under red So the reason I knew that was in the wrong spot is I had the black going over two color pieces in a row. So it should go under, over, under. All right, so green, it's going under purple, so it goes over red, and then under green. And this one is gonna look a little weird, but it needs to go under the orange so that the teal can be in the right spot. So the last one left is the teal to go over the green, I mean over the black, under the green, and over the orange. This is the last one to get together, so we're going to check on your tabs here and make sure they go inside. that and then you can do one last check to make sure everything goes under over under over under over all the way around and there you have it your woven paper bowl thank you for watching our level four paper weaving video where we made a woven paper ball out of different color strips fairly successfully i hope you enjoyed making these and check back next week for your next after school break program